As the world's richest, Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson fight to retain the title of pioneers of space tourism, Elon Musk is polishing the capabilities of his company, SpaceX. It's 2021 and there is a major development. On Monday, Musk's SpaceX lit a part of the rocket which we hope will one day potentially transport humans to Mars or the Moon or beyond that. SpaceX tested three Raptor engines on its super heavy booster for the first time from its launch site in Texas. After the ground test, exalted Musk wrote on Twitter that next he might try a nine engine firing on booster three. So when this model is complete, the company's Starship, loaded with cargo or astronauts, will be mounted on Super Heavy, the booster stage of the two-stage Starship system, fired by up to 32 Raptors engines for a trip to the moon and beyond. Reaching this stage, however, wasn't easy for SpaceX. Rather, it was filled with failures, not once, but several times. Here is a brief look at how SpaceX and its rockets have evolved over time to become what they are today. SpaceX was launched in 2002 by Elon Musk, headquartered in California, with a vision to make space flights affordable to people. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Vehicles pitching downrange. SpaceX's first ever rocket was the Falcon 1, test launched in March 2006 but was unsuccessful due to a fuel leak and fire. It had proposed to carry up to 670 kilograms. Stage 1 is transonic. Stage 1 landing range startup. By this time, SpaceX had won several millions of dollars from launching orders, mostly from the US government. The company also won a NASA competition to build a spacecraft to service the ISS. Though between 2007 and August 2008, all Falcon 1 launches remained ineffective. In September 2008, however, Falcon 1 finally reached the Earth's orbit, making SpaceX the first private company to do so. Plus 12. Pitch kick. And just three months later, SpaceX also signed a nearly $1 billion of worth contract with NASA to service the ISS. Next came the Falcon 9, equipped with a payload ability to lift nearly 13,150 kgs of the Earth's gravity well. In December 2010, SpaceX paired a spacecraft, the Dragon capsule with Falcon 9 and sent it into the Earth's orbit only to have it successfully return. SpaceX has been committed to reusing its rockets to reduce the launch costs. In the past 20 years, Falcon 9 itself has been launched 84 times and 45 times it has returned to Earth safely. 
Out of these 45 rockets, 31 have been recycled and in fact launched again. In 2012, the Dragon capsule docked with the International Space Station and delivered cargo, a first for the commercial spacecraft industry. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Starting pitch kick. A huge sensation looks like we got us a dragon by the tail. Between 2012 and 2013, Grasshopper, another SpaceX rocket, made eight test flights between 2012 and 2013. However, this rocket did not get much attention and was shelved later. An important milestone for SpaceX on reusability came in December 2015. After the ninth launch, SpaceX was able to achieve a controlled ocean landing of the Falcon 9, the first in the history of rocket landing during an orbital launch. In this year itself, Musk's company tried landing rockets on drone ships in the ocean, but it also ended in failure. Finally, it was in 2016, a Falcon 9's first stage touched down softly on a drone ship called, of course, I still love you. In 2017, SpaceX was able to reuse a rocket stage during a launch. The same year, the Dragon capsule was reused on a flight to the International Space Station. In 2018, SpaceX tested another rocket called the Falcon Heavy, which landed successfully two times out of three. The rocket placed into the sun's orbit a Tesla Roadster with a mannequin in a spacesuit in the driver's seat. So just last year, SpaceX reached another milestone when it flew NASA astronauts to the ISS, a first for a private company to fly a crewed mission to the space. Now coming back to the present day, SpaceX is developing spacecraft meant for several purposes and this includes transporting the Japanese businessman Meizawa, Yusaku and others to Mars. So we waited nearly 20 years for the progress we see today. It's probably soon that travel to Mars or the Moon becomes a reality. Thank you for watching News9 Live. Be sure to share, like and subscribe to our channel.